What's up guys, it's me Sean, and today we'll be talking about how strong Nor is from the series I Parry Everything. Now from the very start of the series, Nor is very useless. But despite this, he always dreamed about becoming an adventurer. And this would push him to go to multiple different training schools for the six basic class branches. One being the School of Swordsmanship, the other being the School of the Warrior, the next being the School of the Hunter, the School of the Thief, then the Mage, and last but not least, the Cleric. Every time he would spend months of his life at these schools and find himself wasting his time. Because despite the months of training that he would put in, every single instructor that he had would tell him he would be too weak. The only thing he would ever be good at would be parrying. Parrying was truly his only talent. So despite his rejections, leading to nobody training him, he decided to take it upon himself and train on his own. Honing the only skill he had an affinity for. Funny thing is, parrying would also be considered the worst skill among all of them. This training would consist of him carving out a wooden sword. And with this wooden sword, he would parry multiple other wooden swords around him that would hang from trees. He would parry these swords for 14 years straight, from dawn till dusk. He would even forget to eat or sleep. But as the years began to fly by, he would be able to parry more swords in a single breath. After the first year, he was able to parry 10. Three years after that, he would be able to parry 100. And 10 years later, at year 14, he would be able to parry 1,000 in a single swing. From this point forward, he would try to join the Adventurer's Guild again, and it would only have six skills. One from the Swordsman branch being parrying, the second from the Warrior branch being physical enhancement, the third from the Hunter's branch being stone throw, the fourth from the Thief branch being feather step, the fifth from the Magician branch being tiny flame, and the sixth ability being from the Cleric branch, low heal. All of those abilities would be considered pretty useless outside of his ridiculous ability to parry. But unfortunately, even in his everyday life, he found no real use for it. Even with his other crappy abilities, they would be able to help him with his everyday life. Physical enhancement, he could easily pick up five times more than the average man. Low heal could obviously make him heal himself, so he'd never feel fatigued. Feather step would allow him to catch lost pets, since you wouldn't be able to hear him. Tiny flame would help him cook, and stone throwing would help him entertain others. You know, it's like you're out on a date and then you, uh, you're at the beach late at night. You just take a stone and you flick it up against the water and then that girl, she's just ooh. But you get the point. Until one day, Nor would reach a construction site and a giant minotaur slash battle cow with a giant ax would show him just how talented he really was. Any ordinary human would not be able to stand a chance against this battle cow. Had killed multiple guards trying to protect a young girl from this fearsome monster. Most of them dead, and all hope being lost, Nor took it upon himself, despite how useless he is, to join the fight and protect her. And he would use all of these useless abilities to help him. Physical enhancement would help him move faster to snatch a sword from one of the guards. He would then use stone throw to throw it at the giant cow's eye, blinding it. This would frustrate the cow and make it charge towards Nor. The cow would use an attack on him with his giant axe that would destroy any human, pulverizing them into bits. And he would use the ability he knew best, parry. Performing an astonishing feat, the same sword swing that could disarm a thousand men. This giant monster would continuously get disarmed. He simply could not kill Nor. Because with Nor's parry, he would be an unstoppable wall. No matter how many blows came at Nor, he would parry all of them. At one point, he would parry and the axe would then fly from the monster's hand and kill it. It would also turn out that the woman that he saved from this tragic incident would be Lindbergh Clay. She would be the princess from the Kingdom of Clays. And because of this, the king would be so thankful to Nor that he would give him his own personal sword. The Black Blade of Clays. This sword is indestructible. No skill could ever break it. So right off the bat, Nor has superhuman strength, magic abilities, has an indestructible sword, and can parry anything like an unstoppable wall. So the first feat that we just covered was Nor fighting a minotaur and him parrying all of its strikes, a giant monster with super strength. 
Norse strength would also be tested beyond this because he'd fight a giant goblin and the same goblin would throw trees at him. He would continue to parry all of these trees. He would even fight a poisonous frog dragon, but these are just some very basic bare bones feats. With his blade being indestructible, he would also obviously break almost every opponent's sword that he would come across. But easily more impressive than fighting a frog dragon, he would fight the Dragon of Calamity. This dragon has not tasted defeat, only victory for thousands of years. And up against this same dragon, he would parry its breath. A beam of light that would come from its mouth, he would immediately stop it. He could practically parry Godzilla's laser. And on top of this, he can even parry magic. It's almost as if nothing works on him. With just one swing, he could parry several hundred of magic spheres with little to no effort. It gets so crazy, in fact, that Nor can disarm not swords hanging off of trees, actual trained soldiers. He went up against 10,000 of them and disarmed all of them in one swing. But unfortunately, it seems as if Nor cannot parry unintangible things. For example, his parry could do absolutely nothing against an explosion. Until Nor fights up against a ghost and parries the attacks of a ghost. And on top of this, Nor would be a lightning timer. Nor's arms would move faster than a lightning bolt, and he'd be able to parry it. And it is safe to say that he would be a lightning timer because Astira even comments on it. Still, to parry lightning with a sword. I would have thought that following it with your eyes would have been enough of a challenge. It seems as if lightning in this story naturally follows the same rules and physics as lightning in real life, despite it being a spell. They even continue to comment on this. Your acquaintance is faster than lightning. I'm finding it hard to believe that such a person exists. And he'd be able to do this consistently. This wasn't a one-time thing. He would even face an onslaught of lightning bolts while on fire. His stamina would even be inexhaustible. He would be able to parry while on fire as it was searing his skin. Nor's sword is also so strong that it could oppose even a god, a being that was a conceptual as it was physical. His sword would even be able to block concepts. The material of the sword could affect anything else, yet it could not be affected in turn. This means if you were to even universally scale the sword, it would still be unbreakable. He would even defeat one of the closest beings to a god in the verse. And Nor's sword had the ability to cut through unbreakable barriers. So Nor is so strong he could fight a god-like being in a dragon of calamity. With the series being called I Parry Everything, it's hard to imagine that anyone or anything could really just beat him because they can never really attack him. If you were to send some of the strongest attacks his way, his indestructible sword that can block concepts would simply just neg it. Fighting Nor is just a stalemate, even if you're significantly stronger than him. But if he's stronger than you, you are getting absolutely decimated. Unfortunately, with only seven volumes and only six of them being translated, there's not much else to say about Nor's feats. He literally has an impenetrable defense. And if he does parry you, you are wide open and he could hit you with this same unbreakable sword. As for the attack potency, well, Enos is so strong, a single swing from her sword could devastate an entire country and Nor would be multiple times stronger than her. The thing is with Nor, his limits aren't ever necessarily specified. It's similar to One Punch Man. It's whatever the author decides to throw at him and he simply overcomes them. I parry everything is very comedic. For example, at the beginning of the series, Nor would fight a Minotaur, but he would be so strong he would simply perceive this same Minotaur as a regular cow. But what I do know is if he makes a character that can literally destroy a country with a single swing and as a child could <laughs> be a threat to all of humanity, look like a weakling, I really can't say there's 
anything else you could say or even take away from him in terms of strength. Keep in mind, this was when this character was a child. They are now a full grown adult with training, etc. And Nor makes them look weak. I can't necessarily give you an exact calc on how strong Nor is, but for him to just easily defeat a being that is the closest to God in only these seven volumes that are out, I am more than certain that Nor is one of Isekai's strongest. Now with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Are there other isekais that you'd like for me to cover? I will be doing another video of I Parry Everything once more volumes come out. Are there any other feats that you think I should have talked about? Please comment in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video.